Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiteboard Finance. My name is Marco and I'm here to help you master your money and build your wealth. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about what SPACs are, but first, thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Right now, they're having their best sale of the year, but more on that later. So there have been a lot of high profile deals done in 2020 under a SPAC, but what exactly are these things? So in 2020 alone, there have been 50 plus SPAC deals raising over $21 billion of investor capital. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what is a SPAC, how a SPAC works, examples of some SPACs, and finally, my thoughts at the end. Stay tuned. Okay, so you're probably wondering what is a SPAC and how does it work? So a SPAC is just a simple acronym that stands for Special Purpose Acquisition Company, okay? So a SPAC is a company with no commercial operations that is formed solely for the purpose of raising capital through an IPO in order to acquire an existing private company. Okay, so let me break that down very quickly. The SPAC is a new company, they go public through an IPO, an initial public offering. That's when a private company offers shares uh, of equity in order for an exchange of capital, in order to raise money for the sole reason of acquiring another target company, okay? So this is basically formed by sponsors and investors. So sponsors is just a fancy uh, finance term for people that are basically pitching a deal or sponsoring a deal or presenting a deal. Um, this term comes up a lot in venture capital and also private equity. So these are basically formed by sponsors or investors with expertise in that particular industry in which the target private company is held. So they have the intention of pursuing deals in that area. So quick example, if you're a bunch of you know battery chemists and you see promising technology with a private firm and I don't know, Michigan, I'm just making this up, they may, actually they may actually create a SPAC and take that private company in Michigan public, if that makes sense. So these are called blank check companies. The reason for that is because the IPO stage, the initial public offering investors, they don't know what target private company the SPAC sponsors or investors are going to be purchasing or acquiring until the acquisition is made. So that's why it's called a blank check. They're taking IPO money, and without telling the uh, investors what company they're targeting, and then they end up purchasing a certain company, which I'll give you examples of here later in this video. So finally, number four, this money goes into an interest-bearing trust account. So I left this blank so I, can, uh, so I can give you my art skills here. I'm gonna draw a piggy bank. Do pigs have four legs? Yeah, okay. Okay, terrible. I've been on a farm before, relax, and I eat bacon. Okay, so this is an interest-bearing trust account. So what this means is the money that they're getting from the IPO can only be used to acquire that target uh, private company that they wish to acquire, okay? If not, typically within two years, this money that's sitting in this interest-bearing trust account is then liquidated back to the investors if no um, investment is made within those two years as mentioned. So I'll put two years. And keep in mind, I'm not a securities attorney. There's a lot more depth to this than just a simple <laughs> whiteboard video, um, but that's typically what goes into these deals. So number five is post acquisition. Once this company is acquired, they are then listed on the major exchanges. So uh, let's talk about the Simply Safe spot real quick, and then we'll get into examples of SPACs that have gone public in the last couple of years. There's almost always a rise in break-ins during the holidays. That's why Simply Safe is having their best sale of the year right now. Get 30% off plus a free HD camera with a purchase of any new system. So if you're not familiar with Simply Safe, Simply Safe is incredibly effective, reliable home security that will make sure your home is safe. If you've been feeling worried about safety but putting off dealing with it, you don't have to wait another minute. Simply Safe makes it really easy to secure your home. You just order it online or over the phone and it's delivered right to your home and you set it up yourself in under an hour. From there, your home is professionally monitored 24 seven and if anything happens, they'll make sure the police get called. They've got sensors to cover every window, room and door, plus lots of great extras like water sensors, temperature sensors and HD cameras. It's all really easy to use and you get around the clock protection for just 50 cents a day with no contracts and they've even won US News and World Report's best overall home security of 2020. So the reason I'm personally interested in home security is because as always, this is my business. Uh, I've showed you guys this a couple times now, but this is my full-time income. So that's why I was definitely interested in protecting my studio here with a home security system. 
So the personal experience with the setup process was super simple. Uh, it only took about 40 minutes or so. Um, you put down a couple sensors by the windows here and here, and then also you can see the base station glowing right there. Uh, and then you can place sensors all over the room. It's very simple and very intuitive. So you can see here that I have a couple different sensors. I have a motion sensor right here at the door. I have the main keypad here, and then I also have a sensor right there above the door in case that were to open. And then I got a couple sensors at the windows and also at the top. So it's very easy to set up and very easy to use. So you know Simply Safe is armed when the base station is glowing, which you can see right here. So if any of these sensors were to alert the monitoring center, um, they would call the police if there was an alert. So I'll show you right now, if I open up this front door, you can see here the sensor, it's actually been separated from the door. So the Simply Safe system is requiring me to put in the pin, which I'll do right now. Okay, so now that the alarm is off, you can see that the base station is no longer glowing and I don't have to worry about the police being alerted. Now if I wanted to turn the base station back on, I would simply click home and then this would start glowing again. So that's pretty much Simply Safe in a nutshell. Uh, check out the URL on the screen and then you can at least get 30% off your free system plus a free HD camera. Thank you. Okay, so now that you've seen my entire studio, please don't rob me. Uh, if you just watch my videos and implement what I'm teaching you, you'll make a lot more money that way than stealing my stuff, potentially going, going to jail, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so anyway, uh, here's some examples of SPAC deals that have been done. A lot of these companies and ticker symbols are gonna look familiar to you because they're pretty well-known companies. So to kind of implement what I taught you in the first part of this video with what I'm going to show you in a real life example, uh, pay attention. So number one is DraftKings. DraftKings has a ticker symbol of DKNG. Uh, basically they are a, I don't want to call them sports gambling because a lot of it is fantasy. You're kind of creating your own um, roster using skill. Um, however, they are kind of lumped into that sports gambling world. Basically DraftKings went public via merger with a SPAC called Diamond Eagle Acquisition Corp and a gambling tech business called SB Tech Global Limited. So um, to kind of reiterate what I taught you in the first part of this video, this was the private company that was the target. The SPAC itself was what I just mentioned, Diamond Eagle Acquisition Corp and SB Tech Global Limited. Make sense? Number two is Nikola, Nikola Corp, Nikola Motors, uh, ticker symbol NKLA. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of them. They're basically um, Tesla light, if you will. Uh, they just took Nikola Tesla and basically uh, you know, took the actual Nikola Tesla's first name and made a company called Nikola. Uh, they are a very successful electronic vehicle, electric vehicle company. Uh, take everything I'm saying right now with a grain of salt. You'll understand why in the my thoughts portion of this video. So Nikola basically uh, was, the, was a private company. They were acquired or merged with uh, Vectal Q acquisition, and this took place in June. So again, Nikola private company, or they changed the name. I'm not gonna get into too many details right now, but just for the sake of this video, Nikola was the private company that was acquired through the SPAC called Vectal Q, okay? Number three is Virgin Galactic. So if you're familiar with uh, Richard Branson, he has the Virgin Brands. Uh, Virgin Galactic's route to public markets basically came through a merger with uh, social capital Hedo Sophia. If you guys know Chamath, he's uh, really bright, he's smart on Twitter. I'll leave um, a picture of his you know, profile right here somewhere. You should go follow him. Um, basically, he raised $800 million and took a 49% stake in this company, thus creating the ticker symbol SPCE. Okay, so now let's get into my thoughts about these SPACs. Okay, so my thoughts on SPACs in general. So I have three points real quick. I'm gonna fly through these. Uh, number one is that SPACs are typically more attractive than private equity for the owners of the privately held company. The reason for that is typically because the owners of the privately held company can get about 20% more uh, for their company or their shares, if you will, um, when exiting these deals and taking these companies uh, public, okay? So if I'm, uh, if I'm Marco's Coffee and I have 30 locations in the Midwest and I'm absolutely crushing it, right? A private equity firm may come to me and say, hey, we wanna buy Marco's Coffee from you. Uh, we wanna expand this business because you have such a strong business model. That's what private, private equity does. Now, uh, if a SPAC were to approach me, say some coffee connoisseurs and you know, they're the former C-level executives at Starbucks, for example, they'll say, hey, Marco, we can get you X amount of dollars more rather than the private equity firm down the street. Are you interested? 
So number one, SPACs are typically more attractive than private equity. Uh, number two, it's a faster route to IPO. Um, so if, if Marco with the coffee company wants to take his company public at some point, um, SPACs are typically a faster route to get there. Okay, so that's the second point. Number three, I have get rich quick. Um, the only reason I say that is because SPACs are typically a backdoor way to go public, uh, avoiding a lot of scrutiny and, the, and underwriting. Don't get me wrong, they still go through underwriters like Goldman Sachs and things like that. However, the deals are typically done a lot quicker, okay? So the only reason I say get rich quick is because a lot of these SPACs, they end up not doing well. Um, and you can all see what happened with all the drama um, with Nicola's CEO, which I'm not gonna go into in this video. So hopefully you got value out of this video. Hopefully you stayed till the end. Um, if you did, please give the video a like, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. Please share the video on social media and also check out the links down below. Thank you so much and have a prosperous day. I'm taking Marco's coffee public. I'm only serving pumpkin lattes.